garlic. I'm uh, sitting on a horse in front of the Chimney Rock Stone, which is located about five miles south of Oliva and two miles north of the Chimney Rock Church in northern Trimple County. Uh, this rock has some historical benefits because of the legend of Jesse James bearing some money here after the Northfield bank robbery. Uh, I'm in the pro I'm going to tell you the story of or the legend of Jesse James. Supposedly, uh, one evening, uh, a stranger stopped at the nearby farmhouse and asked to buy a supper for himself. And the people let him in, and he came in and he bought uh, a meal and ate his meal. And when he was ready to leave, he asked if he could buy another meal for a companion that was up by the chimney rock stone who couldn't come down. So the farm family fixed another meal for Jet, supposedly Jesse James, and uh, Jesse James is on his way. Well, the next morning when this farm family went out to the barn to do their chores, they had an iron kettle that they had hanging in their milk house. Well, that morning the kettle was gone and uh, they don't know what happened to it. And when they also that morning when they went out to, they noticed there was a sole horse standing on top of the ridge up by the rock, which is a brown and white painted horse. And uh, so they went up to investigate and they saw some spots where uh, there had been a, a supposedly a grave dug and some other digging going on in the area. So they assumed then that uh, Jesse James buried his money from the Northfield bank robbery at the Chimney Rock Stone. However, that next, that next evening, uh, there's a old stagecoach stop between uh, Leva and Strum on near the Hamlin Valley Cemetery, which uh, was also an inn. And this same gentleman came to that inn that night and asked for a room. And the innkeeper said they didn't have any other than to share a room with her son. So this gentleman agreed to do that. And uh, the next morning when he left, supposedly he threw this innkeeper's son a uh, gold piece and told him that uh, he can tell everybody he just spent the night with Jesse James. So the legend goes on that uh, this is the spot where it was his money was buried. And also there is a legend that a man was buried up here that was a companion of Jesse James. Uh, there has been people in the 20s and 30s up looking for it. To my knowledge, no one has found it. And there has been people in the more recent time looking and uh, to my knowledge it's never been found. This rock also was used in the 20s and 30s and 40s as a spot for many social gatherings, 4th of July celebrations, whatnot. There's names carved in here from the late 1800s and 1900s. It's uh, quite a spectacle. Another feature of the Chimney Rock Stone that makes it uh, kind of historical is a hundred years ago there wasn't the vegetation on these ridges that we have now and this rock stood up way above uh, anything else in the area so it was used as a landmark for traveling. That's uh, one of its key features of it from the late 1800s. What interests you in the Chimney Rock Stone? Well, it's <laughs> uh, it's kind of a unique landmark, it's kind of fun, a lot of visitors come. Usually the local Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts uh, spend an evening or two up here in the summertime. And uh, a lot of people from, especially older people that were raised in this area and now have moved away, come back in the summer and come up here because when they were kids their parents had brought them up here and it's, it's uh, pretty much uh, open to the public with uh, as long as they continue to respect it as they have. I've never uh, told anybody they couldn't come up here. It's on private land, but we uh, allow just about anybody to come and see what it is and enjoy the rock.
Where'd you start raising uh, painted horses? <laughs> uh, I started raising painted horses a long time ago, um, but since uh, I started raising painted horses when I first bought this farm in 1985, and in about 1988-89 is when I heard the legend of the painted horse being left up on the near the chimney rock stone. So it's kind of a unique little coincidence that painted horses are now being raised on the land where the legend has it that a man was buried and left a painted horse um, near the rock. Have you had any special visitors like from foreign countries ever come or from a foreign no, uh, not to, that, to my knowledge, any foreign countries, but there's been a lot of people from a lot of different areas. Like I said, most people that come up here are were born and raised in this area and lived and were born and raised with the legend of the local rock and come up here when they were kids with their parents because, like I said, in the 30s and 40s and 50s, uh, this was kind of a neat picnic area. A lot of people spent time up here with picnics and social gatherings.